hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to show you one of the best ways in which you can use cloves for extreme maximum hair growth now cloves are one of those things that can help a lot when it comes to hair growth but it can have the opposite effect where it's really really drying on the hair and it can actually cause more hair breakage if it's used wrongly and some of you guys have actually emailed me complaining of this issue and requesting perhaps a video showing how you can fix that problem and i hope that you are watching today's video and that you will find it some somehow helpful um so i suggest you watch till the end so that you see all, all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it now let's hop right into to the video so what we're going to need will be some cloves so i'm using one tablespoon of cloves now i'm going in next here with some fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds are extremely beneficial when it comes to um, promoting healthy high growth and just the general healthy scalp now fenugreek are high in um, iron and protein and these are two essential nutrients when it comes to high growth they also contain something called flavonoids or saponins and these are presumed to induce high growth due to the anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties so i added some hot water to this so that it can infuse a little bit quicker i'm just going to place a little lid or plate on top of this and just allow it to sit on its own and infuse and in the meantime i'm going to prep my next ingredient which will be some aloe vera now aloe vera is my all-time favorite honestly this thing has been amazing and has done wonders for my hair and there are lots of you guys who have also tried aloe vera uh, in the past or some of the recipes that i've I've showed you guys using aloe vera and I found it super super helpful um, so the thing with cloves like I said at the start of the video it can be extremely drying if it's used wrongly and also depending on your hair type some people find that cloves dries their hair out like crazy and then other people find that it's absolutely okay um, so but when you combine it with really moisturizing ingredients like these ones like fenugreek and aloe vera that will help you counteract that effect so if you're suffering or if you've tried cloves water before and find it really drying for your hair this recipe will definitely help you fix that so i hope that you will go ahead and try this out and if you find it helpful in some way don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below or in my future videos what you thought of today's recipe but anyways so let's prep the aloe vera so essentially i just cut the portion of aloe vera that i was going to need went ahead and washed it you can soak it as well if you want to but i've used aloe vera for so long that i don't necessarily need to soak it because it doesn't itch anymore um so after i got the flesh out i've just blended it using a hand blender just like you saw now i'm going ahead and i'm straining it just to remove the pulp So this is what it looks like after it's just been strained you can see the foam at the top but after it's sat around for a little bit that foam literally just goes away um, obviously it's not completely gone here because I needed to carry on with the video but if you allow it to sit for a little bit longer the foam of the aloe vera will be completely gone um, so now I'm back to our fenugreek and cloves um, sort of water that we, we had been infusing. So it's sort of ready and you know it's ready when the fenugreek seeds have literally doubled in size and the cloves also have doubled in size. You can infuse this overnight as well if you want to. It probably will be a lot better when it comes to, for, um, when it comes to the cloves because they do take a bit, a bit longer to properly infuse. Um, but I just had to carry on with the video just to show you guys um, how to make this. So essentially you just want to sieve that into the same um, bowl in which you had your aloe vera and just mix it all nicely together. And that's kind of pretty much it. You've got your amazing cloves, fenugreek and aloe vera water which is super super moisturizing. Just like I said before, if you have issues with cloves drying your hair out, this is the way to go. And I promise you guys, you will most definitely see a huge difference because this is super, super moisturizing on the hair. I'm going to show you how I'm using it in a little bit and also talk about how often you can use this 
to um, help when it, when it comes to like promoting hair growth and just general moisture in your hair. So my hair at the moment is washed um, and conditioned but not detangled guys because life is happening right now honestly I just don't have the time to be spending so long on my hair um, like I used to but when I do get the chance like this I just get back to to it basically just to get my hair back on track so sometimes it happens that i wash my hair and i don't seal the moisture in straight away just because you know i haven't got time for it um but i always find some some a, a way to do it later on anyway so um that's why my hair is looking kind of dry here because obviously if you don't seal the moisture in your hair after you wash it it is going to get dry so don't do what i'm doing <laughs> honestly um it hasn't always been like this i promise you it hasn't always been like this it's just because recently things have been super super hectic but anyways so um i'm piling my hair here into smaller sections just like you saw it's just easier to work that way guys honestly if you're not working on your, on your hair sections i don't know what you're doing honestly because it is so much easier and stress-free when you're working in smaller sections so anyways i finger detangled a bit because it needed that and then i'm just um sort of applying the um kind of spray or conditioner to my roots and i'm also applying it to the rest of my hair including my ends now it's super important that you also moisturize your ends guys it's the oldest the driest and literally the part of your hair that is most likely to break so it's always important that you treat your ends with a little bit more care essentially so go ahead and saturate your hair really well with this and now you are going to need some type of oil butter um or anything that you have available to seal the moisture in your hair um so i'm i will be using one of my products this is available on my website naturalvanesta.com so feel free to check it out but it, i think it's also available at the bottom of the video so you can certainly um click on it if you want to so it's my moisturizing hair butter i'm so in love with this i love 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 this because it's just amazing um so i'm going to be using that to seal the moisture in my hair so a little goes a really long way so you just want to go ahead and just melt it in your hands and just apply it to the hair including your ends as well just like i said guys always focus on your ends because if you're looking to see length retention over time it's important that your hair isn't breaking and the place where it's most likely to break are your ends so apply that there and then i'm gonna go ahead with my white tooth comb and just properly detangle my hair essentially and then after it's nicely detangled i'm gonna go ahead and twist and then move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is done now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this i always always recommend moisturizing your hair three times a week if you can i know life sometimes gets super busy and we don't always have the time to um you know to be in our hair but it's super important that you maintain moisture in your hair because if it's not moisturized guys it is going to break honestly so try your best to keep your hair as moisturized as possible and when it comes to like fenugreek and aloe vera they those are really really great moisturizers and they also help a lot when it comes to stimulating hair growth so the longer you use it or the more often that you use it you will certainly get to see results the thing about these diys is that it, you, you have to be consistent honestly you have to be consistent to see results just like with anything in life honestly you just have to be consistent um otherwise you're not going to see the results that you're looking for essentially so obviously you don't have to moisturize like this three times a week what i mean is you know apply this and comb your hair just like i'm doing here um because i certainly won't be doing that so what you can do is just spray it to your scalp you know spray it to the rest of the hair whether it's, it's, it's in cornrows or twists or whatever state that your hair is in, you can just spray it and go and that will just keep the moisture in it um, and that will allow your hair to thrive over time as well. So it's super, super amazing if you can, you know, maintain a routine and stay a little bit more consistent. 
Okay guys, if you've been watching to this point of the video and you still haven't given me a thumbs up, please, please go ahead and thumbs up the video. It really, really helps me out. Uh, and also if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button as well. I would really love to have you around. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. Honestly, I see you all. I kind of know every single one of you guys because you always comment and I really, really appreciate that. So thank you so much. Now there's one more thing that I want to talk about, which is super thanks. Um, is a new feature that YouTube added sometimes this year, early this year, but I never mentioned it on here. Um, but Super Thanks essentially is a way that you can support your favorite creators financially if you want to. So there is an icon at the bottom of the video. You see where you've got like the share icon, the clip and all of that. You have Super Thanks as well. So you can just click that and just donate whatever you want to donate um, if you want to, obviously. Um, so yeah, please make use of that feature. I never really talked about it on here because I don't know I'm not really one to you know talk about stuff like that. But anyways, I just thought I'll mention it in case perhaps Someone might be willing to donate to me. But anyways, this brings me to the end of the video I hope you guys enjoy watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll catch you next time. Bye